Short. Story. Story. Comedy. Benny wants his money. It had been an uneventful night. I had eaten the leftover pizza, had a few beers, watched a rerun of Baywatch. After this, I just went to bed. It was during a wonderful dream involving Pamela Anderson that I was very rudely interrupted by a huge gorilla-like hand shoving an old, and might I add, a very dirty sock into my mouth. The oversized gorilla man then drug me out of my nice warm bed onto the bitterly cold floor. I do want to point out that if you have never been awakened this way, it's not very pleasant. His ham-sized hand then picked me up by my chest hairs, held me even with his face, and in a voice that sounded like a cement truck shifting gears, he said, Benny wants his money. I then experienced a brief joy of being fully weightless as the gorilla threw me across my room. The flight was unfortunately stopped very abruptly by the bookshelves along my bedroom wall. Gravity then took its hold of my body, causing me to fall straight back to the bitterly cold floor. It was while I was enjoying the view of all the dust bunnies under my bed, Bongo, whom I shall now refer to as the Gorilla Man, grabbed my right arm and my right leg. He then started to practice his Boy Scout knot tying skills with both my arm and leg. It was about the time he was testing his skills on tying a sheep shank knot that he said, Benny wants his money. What Bongo did next is kind of fuzzy, but I vaguely remember being shoved into my dirty clothes bag that I have hanging from my coat rack. I vaguely then remember how I was used like a punching speed bag. I also seem to have a fleeting memory of my head being shoved into the toilet while it was being flushed, but that could have been a high school memory flashback. It's kind of hard to say at this time. Benny wants his money. Was calmly repeated like a dozen times during all of this. Finally, when Bongo seemed to have tired himself out from this extraneous workout program, he let out a warning. You have till tomorrow at noon to pay Mr. Johnson. What? Wait! I said, spitting out the sock. B Brandon Johnson? I'm Scott Thompson. Brandon lives in the apartment next to me. Bongo seemed to sag a little. Then he said, Oh, oops. Um, would you mind not telling, um, Mr. Benny, he told me he would fire me if I did this again. Sure. Story.